Hello everyone, I'm Edward Polichick, Artistic Director of Concert Artists of Baltimore, and we are uh, presenting a concert this coming Sunday, April 7th, 2.30 at the Garrick Jacobs Mansion. It is one of our uh, mansion series, in fact it's the final one of the season, and uh, I think we have a, quite a spe spectacular program for you, um, something that's very actually near and dear to my heart. We have engaged the Miller Porphyrus duo to present a program, and uh, that duo will be joined by myself on piano for a few of the uh, selections this Sunday, so it becomes a trio. Let me tell you a little bit about the Miller Porphyrus duo. Anton Miller, a phenomenal violinist, happens to be my concertmaster with Lincoln's Symphony Orchestra out in Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, and we've known each other for uh, over 15 years now. Um, he met Rita Porphyrus uh, while they have both been on the faculty at the Hart College of Music in Connecticut um, and have uh, joined as two incredible string forces into a duo. And in fact, if you Google them, the Miller Porphyrus duo, you will see uh, some incredible and hear some incredible pieces of music and performances, some of which we are going to duplicate on, on Sunday. Uh, we open with a very unusual piece by Robert Schumann um, from his fairy tales. We're going to do the first excerpt. Um, many of the violin, viola uh, pieces of music that were written as duos originally started as either clarinet and viola or violin and clarinet and have been transcribed then for violin and, and viola. Uh, this Schumann piece is one such uh, piece that was originally for clarinet and viola, and uh, but the composer also stipulated that it could be done with violin and viola. Lovely, very late work of, of, of Robert Schumann, um, and that will open up our, our program. F the bulk of the program, however, is just the Miller Porphyrus duo. They will continue with a fantastic uh, piece by Mozart that Mozart wrote. Uh, primarily for violin and viola, and they'll close the first half with music of Reinhold Glier, uh, also for just violin and viola. After intermission, they are going to uh, continue with five postcards by Wallen, pieces which were actually written for uh, Anton Miller and Rita Porphyrus, and then we will close the program with four of the eight pieces which Bruch wrote again for clarinet and viola, but which have also been uh, stipulated that can be done with violin and viola, and with piano, uh, uh, so it becomes a, a, a trio. And they are some of the most beautiful and most romantic and technically challenging ones that I've had to deal with on this program. So I hope that you will join us on Sunday, April 7th, at the Engineers Club. Uh, 2.30 is the program, but please be aware that we have a wonderful brunch, two seatings at 11.30 and at 1 o'clock, uh, and we invite you to uh, uh, be part of that. You can make it an entire day. Um, the Mount Vernon area is one of the most beautiful historical areas of Baltimore. Uh, so come early, enjoy some brunch, walk around the neighborhood. The Walters Art Gallery is right around the corner. Several of the most beautiful buildings in all of Baltimore, in fact, in all of the East Coast, are in uh, the Mount Vernon uh, Square area, um, and then have join us for our concert at 2.30. Thank you so very much. For tickets, you may call our office at 410-625-3525. Again, that's 410-625-3525. Or visit us on the web at cabalto, C-A-B-A-L-T-O dot O-R-G.